While we don't have any big DC movie announcements at Comic-Con this year yet, that of course is coming tomorrow, we do have a sort of movie adjacent announcement kind of panel that went down today with Riddler Year One, which was announced a couple months ago that Paul Dano, who of course played the Riddler in the Batman, was going to be writing a prequel comic showcasing the origin story of his version of Edward Nashton, aka the Riddler, from the Batman franchise. So they did a whole panel at Comic-Con today. Paul Dano was there alongside Jim Lee, of course, like the president of DC Comics, and they talked about Riddler year one. And so this is really interesting. Um, I usually don't do too many videos about comics, but the fact that this is so heavily tied to the movies and is an origin story for that version of the Riddler, especially considering we're likely going to be seeing the Riddler again in those movies, especially given that ending with Joker and all that stuff. I want to talk about this because there's some really cool stuff going down here. So... Riddler Year One is going to be a six-part miniseries. Uh, issue One comes out October 25th, and we have our first look at the cover here, which just looks really, really creepy and disturbing and scary and basically sums up this character so that's awesome uh you have of course you know edward nashton down below and then you have kind of like the looming presence of the riddler above the identity that he must become and of course the riddler slash zodiac killer symbol right there as well we also have some variant covers including this one which is quite disturbing to say the least and this one, which actually looks really, really cool because you have the Riddler right front and center and then just a bunch of blank people around him. It looks really cool. And we do have a nice look at inside the comic of what it's going to be like. This looks interesting. This looks to be maybe the Riddler is like testing out some of his traps and stuff. He like burns his hand in acid, which is interesting. But then again, to be fair, I don't believe we ever... Actually, aside from his Arkham Asylum scene, I mean, he was wearing gloves for the most of, for, for most of that movie, so maybe he was injured with his uh, fried hand. You never know. Uh, this one, let's see. Let's uh, actually zoom in here a bit. So, I actually love this little detail of how his little lamp there is almost in a question mark shape. And it, you can see that he is just playing around with these different little puzzles and stuff. And he's doing, like, online games, of course, referencing to his uh, social media presence in that movie. Um, yeah, th this is interesting. So, like, he's always winning. He's checking out current news, and he's seeing, basically, the corruption of these people in power. And you can see that they're utilizing that power to be super selfish, and the Riddler doesn't like that. That's why he does everything in the Batman that he does because he wants to expose that corruption throughout Gotham City. And then this is where you can kind of see where he's actually seeing that firsthand. So again, this is the origin story of the Riddler. I also love how if you went to the panel, you actually got this free Riddler pin, which I'm kind of jealous. I mean, I would love to have this thing. But uh, yeah, Riddler year one, it comes out this October, issue number one. I'm really excited for this. Uh, if I do end up finding a way to actually purchase this comic and read it, uh, I might even do a video on the channel about it. So look forward to that. But guys, are you excited for Riddler Year One and just excited to see more of the Riddler in the Batman franchise going forward? So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the DC life.